Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and it's Saturday, Slashback Saturday. Now this is the segment that my very good friend Joe, the horror man, created, where he picks a certain theme, and we watch a slasher film based on that theme, and do a review. I'll say I had a, I've had a great time with this since it started, and this week is no exception. And when I watched his video, I always skip to the end to find out what the theme is for next week because, well, I have no willpower. And then I go back and watch his review and watch how they tie together. Uh, this week's theme is Sample Size Slasher. And as soon as I heard that, I knew what my pick was. There wasn't any doubt or question in my mind. Uh, my pick for this week is And All Through the House, which is the very first segment from Tales from the Crypt. Now, a little bit of history about this Blu-ray and myself. Um, this was a blind buy for me. I knew very little about either film. Of course, Tales from the Crypt, I knew it was a series that I watched some when I was younger. But I wasn't really sure how it would translate to being a 1972 film. I will say this is one of my very favorite Scream Factory releases ever. Both of these films are fantastic. And last year when I did my top 20 or top 25 anthology films... Both of these movies were in my top ten. They're that good. So, the very first segment of Tales from the Crypt and All Through the House is a 1972 short segment, which runs approximately a little over 12 minutes, and is directed by Freddie Francis. Now, unfortunately, he passed away on March the 17th of 2007 at the age of 84. Now, the movies he was responsible for are The Ghoul, Legend of the Werewolf, Son of Dracula, The Creeping Flesh, and another really fantastic anthology. Tales That Witness Madness. Now this stars Dame Joan Collins as Joanne Clayton. Now she was in Fear in the Night. Also, Dark Places. She was also in another Scream Factory film that's on a double feature called Empire of the Ants. Another good movie. It's silly, but it's fun. This also stars Martin Body as her husband. He unfortunately passed away on October the 24th, 1975, at the age of 68. He was in Four Desperate Men and Tank Force. This also stars Chloe Franks as her daughter. She was in Whoever Slew Auntie Rue, which is really fun. Uh, the Uncanny, which is actually getting a Blu-ray release, I believe. I want to say from Severn, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that one. And another fantastic anthology, The House That Drip Blood. And then finally, Oliver McGreevy as the Maniac. He had a bit part in the Flash Gordon a live action movie in the 80s. And he was on the TV series Chiller. No, I'm sorry, Thriller. <laughs> now, a very, very brief um, synopsis on this film because, like I said, it's only 12 minutes, a little over 12 minutes. Um, a housewife, uh, Joan Collins, of course, kills her husband in the very beginning and then finds out that a, an escaped maniac wearing a Santa suit 
recently escaped an asylum. And that's kind of where I have to leave it. <laughs> yeah, 12 minutes doesn't give you a whole lot of work to work with as far as the overall synopsis. Now, a couple interesting things about this film. Despite being top billed and one of the six lead actors, Joan Collins only has 15 lines in the film. And, of course, this movie, or this segment, was remade by director Robert Zemeckis as the Season 2 episode of Tales from the Crypt. And I do like the remake as well. Um, Joe and I were talking about this. I actually like this one better. Even though it's older... You know, the furniture, of course, is a bit dated. So is the art and the clothing. But it's just a fantastic segment. And I find it to be quite creepy. Especially in the 12 minutes they have to work with. So, have you seen Tales from the Crypt? More specifically, have you seen the segment? And all through the house? Definitely comment below and let me know. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out The Horror Man, where he gives his review this week and our theme for next week. And until next time, peace.